Hello everyone, my name is Bridget and today we're going to be talking about the Earth Star Chakra activation and the truth behind its healing energy. So this is everything you need to know about the Earth Star Chakra and there's a lot that you need to know because this is significant. It is essential for your spiritual development to be able to assimilate the higher energies coming into the planet. This is our root. This is beyond our root. This is our anchor point. This is the foundation that holds our etheric body, which is holding our chakra system in place, to be balanced, to be charged and energized on the everyday. So it's very, very essential. I'm really excited to be talking about this. And there's many different pieces to it. And if you haven't gone, I recommend watching the Secret Chakras video that I did before this. This is a part of a series to understand these ancient kind of hidden chakras that we haven't talked about very much. We've been talking about the seven chakras, but there's so much more. And these ones are really essential for these times. So the earth star chakra is below the feet. It goes into the earth. Some people talk about it as 12 inches, maybe a little bit closer, maybe a little farther. And that opens up to many different chakras that are going into the earth. And this earth star chakra is the communication between the earth, between Gaia, which is a conscious intelligent being, and your own energetic system. There's a communication channel happening. And so it is one of your support systems. And it's one of the ways that your energy becomes balanced and assimilated and manifestation takes place, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And so this chakra for a long time was natural, was inherently open and active, especially for indigenous peoples. But especially over time in the Western world, it has been more dormant and closed up, which and we're going to go into why. And so a lot of people's energy fields, uh, particularly the lower chakras because of trauma because of just the shutting down of the sexual energy all different kinds of things has been closed off for a long time so then you start to try and extend your energy through the legs and into the earth and it just ain't happening right there <laughs> there's been this communication channel off for a long time and so going into the earth star chakra is a wonderful high frequency high intelligent energy that can start to kind of open things up from the bottom bottom up instead of kind of forcing our way down this direction we can be nourished and uplifted by the earth and by this energy to start unlocking and opening up and balancing these upper chakras as well which is really significant now if you're wanting to do full activation and full cultivation of this chakra as well as all the other ones. I have a brand new course, so I recommend going down below and checking it out. Uh, it's very powerful and these are critical and necessary. So this is the overview of how to do this and the approaches and the context necessary. And then down below in the course, I have the actual activation process as well as the cultivation practices. So to understand the Earth Star Chakra, it's essential to understand our connection and relationship with Earth, with Gaia, that is a very high frequency and is intelligent and ideally knows you. She is a consciousness that we are meant to build a relationship with, that she is there for us. She's a part of our guidance system and she's part of our balance on all levels in this plane of reality and she also holds the template to this physical world to this physical reality so the toltecs and lots of different cultures talk about the space of earth's surface and just below as the place where manifestation takes place and so women bleed every month and that information is then registered with earth as information to then alter our manifestations in our physical life and what we're wanting and what we're yearning and what we're letting go of into the earth and so going out and speaking to the earth working with the earth in this way and developing this relationship is one of the primary ways of how we change 
our 3D reality. And this communication is happening all the time. It's absolutely wonderful to go out and have a conscious conversation with the earth to speak and voice your desires, your energies, the things that you want to let go of, as if she is a mother, as if she is a grandmother that can assist you through this process. And this interaction is happening all the time when we have this current of communication open and available. And so before the 1950s, before rubber-soled shoes, those people were barefoot. My ancestors were pioneers that walked barefoot from Canada to Salt Lake City. People were barefoot. The, the Irish older women would walk barefoot and then put on their shoes when they got to church or when they got to town. It was inherent that we were always connected to the earth. And so that communication channeling, that information of nourishment, of life force energy, of rejuvenation of, of what is needed, of uh, the reminder of who we are was always streaming, was always going. And also that information back of what's going on with us and what needs to be let go of. You get the point. And so we put on shoes and we built concrete and we created metal boxes and a lot of us don't go barefoot anymore and so that cultivation channel has been closed to a large degree and so there's a cultivation needed to activate and then our conscious intention to even know that it's there <laughs> and work with it now as you're working with earth and anchoring deeply into this earth star chakra the one of the great availabilities is that we can go higher we can then connect with the archangels we can connect with the stars and the fractured personalities the imbalances the energy distortions where the things become too much those dissipate those don't happen because we're stabilized and we can go higher so the deeper you go the higher you can go and so i think maybe some people are like you're the one that talks about like aliens and stuff. Why are you talking about the earth? Because to be able to go super high, we need to be able to go super deep as well. So that's part of the overview of how we're interacting and dialoguing with earth, with Gaia. And so why beyond rubber soled shoes, for instance, and our physical disconnection from the earth has this center and ha has these centers below the root chakra gone more dormant. And we can trace this back to Christianity, to the church, because let's do a little history playback, which is really, really important because at the time when Christianity was spreading through Western Europe, there were indigenous, usually pagan or earth oriented religions in those places. And they devoted themselves to the earth. They devoted themselves to the trees, to the elementals, to nature. So for Christianity to be able to come in there, they actually had to demonize the earth, which is the connection to the feminine. So there was this demonization of the feminine and the connection to earth that was bad, that was witchcraft, that was uh, of the devil and those kinds of things so that they could sell their religion and sell their God. Uh, so if the people already had something that was working, why would they do that unless they thought that they were going to go to hell? So for generations, for millennia, especially for, the, for those of us in the West, it has been bad, demonized, dangerous to connect with anything, right? Below the waist, for sure. Uh, but between the legs and into the earth. And we have to realize that this was a sales campaign and that in actuality, there is incredible, massive benefit that we can receive, literally receiving the feminine energies from down below and including the Christic energies from above. Because when we talk about the soul star chakra, we're gonna be talking about actually how religion uh, and the Rosicrucians and certain traditions have have fostered, have cultivated these beautiful chakras above the head for a long time. So it's not to demonize then Christianity, but it's to realize 
why these things had been put in place and why there could be a subconscious energetic morphogenetic block on those lower centers because we feel whatever our ancestors experienced and so maybe even just subconsciously it's like oh yeah I just don't connect with that energy down there it's like yeah because you might get killed or you might get ostracized from the village so it makes sense why those energies were cut off or dissipated or not wanted to be interacted with but that's over now we understand the full context history has come full circle now and we need both and there's many traditions many incredible beautiful traditions have been continuing to cultivate these centers uh, below the root for generations for millennia and have kept these ancient memories intact as well as the rosicrucians and christianity as well so certain cultures and religions such as the Taoists and the tibetan tradition they have been using this system they've continued to use this holistic system into the earth through the legs for generations through qigong through different kinds of practices this is just inherent this is standard and again, with those that are indigenous or those that were raised close to the earth with bare feet in connection, this is just how it works. The, this connection is intrinsic to our energy system and to our guidance system that's merging and coming up from below the earth. So I feel it's very appropriate to be filming amongst the oak trees, which were the trees of the Druids, to retrieve, to bring back, to welcome back the energy of the earth star chakra and the chakras between the legs. So to get into a little bit more specifics around that, it's not just the earth star chakra down there. Then there's minor chakras that go uh, through the bottom of the feet uh, with the kidney one point, which is the bubbling spring up through the legs. And then there's points through and up the legs that then go to the root. And so all of these points, this whole current, this whole channel is very, very important. So there are just a couple more things that I want to touch on that are really significant. And that is, is that generally women have uh, more of these channels online. And that's in part because of their inherent connection with the feminine, with earth. And so that's more activated in generally women and then also these energies can be cultivated from other lifetimes and so some people might have these more activated than others say if you did qigong for an entire lifetime or you had indigenous lifetimes those that cell memory will continue on in this life and you can tap into that you can access that you can access all of this and that's why i wanted to give you know the conceptual understanding but also a transmission of the greater play out of what's been happening in the energy of these lower centers and of the earth star chakra so that you can really connect in again in a deeper way consciously with the full awareness tune in and even use this video as an activation as an awareness and after you're finished watching this maybe go put your bare feet on the ground to go sit with the earth and start to just feel the current of that energy center beginning to awaken, beginning to come online and asking your other lifetimes, asking your ancestors, your morphogenetics to say that time where that is disconnected or not allowed to be connected to is over. Now is the time of reconnection so that I can be fully stable and root in my whole energetic system and manifest from a deep place of awareness with earth with my soul consciousness so i hope that you enjoyed this video again if you want to go deeper into this with the full activation process as well as the activation of all the other secret chakras and the seven chakras i have a brand new course it's really potent and incredible so go click the link down below to check that out and comment below let me know if you feel this if there was a resonance a ring to the certain things that we were talking about uh, and the certain blocks and the certain openings and, and any insights that came through I would love to hear and be sure to like this video subscribe hit the bell button so you get notified every time I do new videos Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video to activate the soul star chakra. All right. Thanks so much.